All right, good morning guys. Welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. If you're new to the channel, my wife Teresa and I buy things locally. We try to flip them online for a profit, or at least that's the idea. Today we're gonna look at some of the things that sold that we're shipping out, but we also wanna talk to you a little bit about something we've been talking about amongst ourselves. If you've watched our previous videos, you know we've been in e-commerce before. We've been in that, in the e-commerce space for a while. And one of the big differentiators between what we were doing before and what we're doing now on eBay is, I guess, the sustainability and the branding of being an eBay reseller. If you were to ask a hundred people that have bought from your shop on eBay who they bought their item from, 99 of those people would probably say they got it on eBay. And maybe one of them would remember your shop name and say they got it from, you know, in our case, Grams and Pops Vintage on eBay. As far as sustainability goes, we see that as a bit of a problem. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what we could do about that or if, if we can do anything about that. But first, we've got a few products to pull. So let's go ahead and start grabbing those. It looks like the first one we gotta grab is a bar Barbie dress, so let's go grab it. Here we've got this fashion fever Barbie dress. Now we bought a large kind of a bulk buy of Barbies. We split the cost of that entire buy up between all the dolls and then the clothes and accessories we separated. So we didn't assign any cost to these. We assigned it all to the main items, which were the Barbies themselves. So we have nothing in this really. It's free item for us. And this sold for $6.99 plus shipping. And you can see that's just going to go in an envelope and it'll head out of here today. And next we got a Blu-ray set to grab uh, the movie, the Disney movie Brave. All right, it looks like that's even got the 3D version. So it's a Blu-ray set and that is new in new sealed in the package we've got about 45 cents in that one and that sold for seven dollars and 20 cents plus shipping all right so sustainability i know i'll probably get a little bit of hate for this one but you know in terms of an ebay business being being a business i guess when we're doing a business we like to look for sustainability can the can we continue the business or is somebody capable of shutting off the lights for us without our say and in this case ebay really is we've got a little department 56 birch tree here let's see we've got this one's going off for eight dollars plus shipping and we've got nothing in this at this point this is completely free so it's all profit so with sustainability on a business we like to try and make sure that there's not one company or one customer or one anything for that matter that could just kind of shut the lights out on us and close our business out. Selling on eBay, you know, is definitely a business. It is a business model, but eBay has a lot of power. They take a lot of fees. They take away your brand recognition. It's kind of like selling on Amazon. Nobody knows they bought from Grams and Pops Vintage if we're selling as a third party on Amazon. They know they bought from Amazon. That's something we're thinking about is trying to figure out how to get our branding out there so that we're not, you know, when somebody buys from us, when they get their package and someone asks them, hey, where'd you get that cool thing? We want them to say Grams and Pops Vintage vintage. That's, the, I would say that's the core of it. Can your customer send a referral back to your store to make another purchase? And if they want to purchase from you again, because they're loyal customer, do they even know where to go other than eBay? All right. looks like we got another DVD to grab. So it's this about cherry one. So that one again, 45 cents in that, and it sold for 1680 plus shipping. I'd really love to hear from you guys, what your ideas on it right now. We currently have stickers we put in the box. We do a thank you note. I hear a lot of talk about eBay sellers and, and people saying, you know, you should put one in you shouldn't put one in and the reason we put them in is so we get good reviews things like that but you never really hear anybody talking about we put those stickers in so that we get some brand recognition they'll come back and buy from us in particular or using it in any way to actually build a brand and build brand recognition and brand loyalty what can you do like we've started matter of fact i'll just grab one quick we've actually started including a little qr code on our stickers with our youtube and ebay and that qr code actually goes to our link tree account so we could put whatever links we want in there if we decided to actually build a website, for example, and, and sync our products from YouTube to our own e-commerce website, we could put that link in here. Now I know it's against terms of service on eBay to send people off of eBay to buy products elsewhere, but once the package gets to their house with this sticker, I don't believe you're breaking any terms of service there. I think you can include that in the package just fine. If I'm wrong on that, someone correct me below. I've never heard of that being the case. So yeah, if we're wrong on that, correct me below. I'd like to hear what the actual truth of that is. I guess. I think we're actually okay doing that. So these little butterfly like brass frames sold. Okay, so there's three of these and we've got a dollar in the whole set and these sold on a discounted promotion for 15 plus shipping. All right, and it looks like we got a little HDMI splitter to grab quick. All right, that's the guy right there. All right, so we got a dollar in that HDMI splitter and that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I believe we got that from a little like Amazon bin store. In terms of branding, other than throwing a sticker and maybe a thank you note or 
or something like that in the box. I'm not sure what other ideas are out there in terms of getting someone to actually recognize our brand name and say they bought the product from us rather than bought it from eBay. But ultimately that's our goal. That's where we would like to get to. If you guys have ideas on that, please post them below. Maybe the video is a bad format for this because I'd actually love to have a conversation with some of you eBay sellers out there that are doing this. Maybe you're a lot further along in getting people to say they bought from you or building your brand than we are. Building a brand on someone else's platform is nothing we've ever done before. We've always had our own platform. So this piece of it is actually kind of a bit of a struggle for us. We'd love to hear more thoughts on this. And if you're doing this or you've done it, feel free to shoot us a comment and let us know what you're doing. Uh, and we'll grab our last item. It's just a little table and chair cafe set for Monster High. I believe we're about $3 into this one and it sold for $9.49 plus shipping. So like I was saying, everything that's sold here today, it looks like we got about seven items going out uh, for roughly 150 bucks. And every single one of those going to a different person is gonna have branding in the package. We're gonna have stickers. We're gonna have a thank you note in the package. And beyond that, I think what we know that we can do is probably change up the messaging on that note change up the messaging on the stickers and we're really curious what you guys are doing or what you think we should be doing to try and advance that goal of being a recognizable brand even though we're building on someone else's platforms also before we jump off of here at the time of recording this we're actually one subscriber less than we were yesterday so if you're that one subscriber that unsubscribed give us a second shot resubscribe down below and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below it helps us out a little bit and it costs you nothing and we will see you guys next time.